Hi, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. This is the third and final video in my series of part two planning strategies. In it, I'm going to teach you another quick method of preparing your talk in the one minute planning time you're given. I'll also explain the importance of telling a story. This strategy is called the five senses method. Having a planning strategy is vital for you to make the most of the one minute preparation time you have before you begin your two minute talk. There are several types of cue card topic this strategy works particularly well with. These are when describing a place, when describing an experience, when describing the before and after situation when something has changed. Here's the cue card we're going to be working with as I explain how to use the five senses method. Describe a food you used to dislike but now enjoy. You should say what it is, what you disliked about it, how long you disliked it for and explain what changed so that you now enjoy it. There are three steps to planning your talk. With only one minute to get this done you need to begin right away. Having a strategy will help you to do this. The three steps are Step 1. List the five senses on your note paper. I'll remind you what they are in a minute. Step 2. Write bullet point notes. Step 3. Use your notes to create a story to tell the examiner about your topic. You'll be given the paper for making your notes and will be allowed to look at it while you're talking. Now I'll go through each step in more detail. First, read the topic sentence. In this case, a food you used to dislike but now enjoy. And the suggestions in the bullet points for what you could talk about. Then write down a list of the five senses on your note paper. Here they are to remind you. Sight, smell, touch, taste and hearing. With this method, I don't recommend using these words as headings, as we did with the question prompt words in strategy one. You'll find that your ideas don't fit neatly under each of the headings. Just use the words as prompts. Next, keeping the five senses words in mind, spend about 30 seconds jotting down all the ideas you can come up with related to the topic. Single words or phrases are fine. Depending on the specific topic, there might not be something appropriate to write for all the senses. Just concentrate on the ones that are relevant. On the next slide, there are some sample notes for this cue card. I've colour coded them so you can see how they relate to the senses prompt words. Here they are. As you can see, sound wasn't relevant in this situation, so there are no words related to hearing. And of course, you'll come up with plenty of other ideas that aren't related to the senses. You can see them here in black. Now use your notes to create a story to tell the examiner about your topic. And how is a story structured? With a beginning, a middle and an end. The beginning is the introduction to the subject of your story. The middle is the main event. It's the detail of what happened. The end is the conclusion that neatly rounds off your story. You should have just enough time left in your one minute preparation to quickly reorganise your notes to put your ideas into a more logical order so that your story flows. You're now ready to give your talk. I've used colour coding again in the sample talk on the next slide, this time to help you identify the different parts of the story. So here's our example. There isn't room on the slide for the whole two minute talk, so I've included the beginning, one paragraph of the main part of the story and the conclusion at the end. You can see the whole talk on the Strategy 3 page on my website. The link is in the notes at the bottom of this video. Describe a food you used to dislike but now enjoy. I have to say that I like most foods and I'm always keen to try new types especially traditional food in other countries. However, I can think of one thing that I used to really dislike, but now absolutely love. 
It's something that always used to appear at Christmas time when I was a child. Figs. One afternoon we passed a large fig tree. Our guide started to pick the ripe fruit and hand them around to everyone in the group. I immediately thought of those dried figs at Christmas, but quickly realised that what I had in my hand was something completely different. For a start, it was soft and warm with a velvety purple skin. Everyone else was eating theirs, so I decided to give it a try as well. Now if anyone asks me if I like figs, I say that I adore them, but only fresh ones. Although I must admit, I've never tasted one quite as good as that fig picked straight off the tree in sunny Spain. As well as giving your talk a structure and ensuring your ideas flow logically from one to another, telling a story will also help you to score well for fluency and coherence. The five senses technique can also be used alongside the question prompt and brainstorming planning methods that we've already looked at. If you haven't studied them yet, you'll find links to them below. There are also videos for them on my YouTube channel. Having a planning strategy means that you'll make the best possible use of your one minute planning time. By the end of that 60 seconds, you'll have all the ideas in your head ready to talk about and your notes to glance at if you need a reminder. Although try not to rely too much on your notes or your fluency will suffer. However, you're only going to get good at using it by practicing. On the Strategy 3 webpage, you'll find some IELTS style practice questions. Use them to plan and create your own two minute talks. And you can download my free IELTS speaking practice cards via the link below. All my topic vocabulary pages have questions on them as well for you to practice with. Well, that brings us to the end of this mini-series on how to plan your part two talk. I really hope it's given you the skills and confidence to create the very best two minute talk you possibly can. Thank you for watching and I look forward to working with you on another aspect of the IELTS exam very soon.